Being a kid should be the best time of your life. Regrettably, there are adults who don't respect that and bad things happen to wonderful children. The process of bringing those bad people to justice can be harrowing for those children. They need comfort. They need to feel secure. I've got a biker buddy of mine, Chops, here from Bikers Against Child Abuse to share what they're doing to help these kids through an immensely challenging time and get some bad guys put away. Chops, welcome to the program. Thank you much. Bikers Against Child Abuse. Tell me uh, what that is, how it got started. Uh, It started almost 25 years ago with a play therapist realizing that bikers had an influence on children. Um, They would actually open up more to a biker. And it's more the stereotype of of us sitting there with a child. Um, It was a a thought, an idea, and all of a sudden it blew off worldwide. Um, You know, I said, oh, we're almost 25 years later and we're in almost every country around the world right now. So Bikers Against Child Abuse, you're involved with a therapist or you're involved more going through the uh, court process? We work with therapists. Um, We go to court with the children, but it's more to empower them. It's not to speak for them or, or do anything but be that emotional rock for them. Um, again, like I said, the stereotype of a bunch of us sitting in court makes that kid okay to say, Hey, this is what happened to me. Cause they don't fear that retaliation from that, from the perp, from the family or anybody. They're kind of a superhero at that point. So during the, the court process, you'll be there with them in court, along with some of your other riding buddies to just give them that sense of, we got your back. You're going to be okay. Yes. And if, if we're not allowed to be in the courthouse, they know we're sitting right outside the door. Um, we're, we escort the family to the court. Um, we're there the whole time. We surround them. Nobody gets to them. Somebody who has that particular need, Jobs, a family member looking to give support to the children, do, how do they initially find you? Is it usually you're involved with a therapist and a therapist invites you in or like a friend of the court? How does that relationship typically begin? A lot of agencies we work closely with, so they have our info. Um, we have a worldwide website um, that people can find us. A lot of times it's word of mouth. Um, we're out in public, somebody sees our cuts and goes, hey, what is this about? We do a lot of the, the children's events around town, set up a booth. Um, so we're, it's public awareness when we're out there talking. In the Jacksonville area, how many members are there, Chops? I think about 30. About 30, that's wonderful. And in a given year, how many kids are you helping through the process? That fluctuates. Yeah. Um, there's not really a set number that I could give you. It's some years are good, some years are bad. Um, and, and a bad year meaning there's been a lot of bad actors. Yeah. And a lot of people begin because of what we do and how we dress and how, who we are. We're also stereotyped as, as a gang, and that's not, that's not us. We're actually a 501c3 nonprofit. But we walk into public and people see a patch on our back and instantly we're roped in with everybody. Give me an idea, Chops, on the background of of some of the different people involved in your program. They're they're butchers or bakers or candlestick makers? We've got lawyers. We've got uh, Fortune 500 members. We've got construction workers, retired people, anybody and everybody. What about the, uh, what's the proper term? I almost used the wrong term. What about the ladies? Do you have lady members also? Yes. In our organization, uh, females are allowed to be patched. Um, a lot of our wives come in and join us because it, it, this is a commitment. It takes a lot of our time. Nobody's paid. So a lot of us, our wives come in and it makes it easier when we have to go somewhere on the weekend. They're with us. It's, it's, it's a support thing. Excellent. Uh, you mentioned patched. As a non-biker, Old Navy pilot guy. <laughs> what does it mean to be patched? Uh, to be a patch member ultimately means that you're a primary for a child. You can work directly with that child. Ah. Um, as a supporter, you're coming up, you're still learning, you're going through all the training. Um, anybody that joins us is FBI background checked, and here in Florida, VEX checked. Um, and then a minimum of a year extensive training. Because this is not something you just go talk to a kid and do. I mean, there's a <laughs> lot that goes into yeah, it. Not a hobby. No. Yeah, I appreciate that. I respect that a lot. For folks that would like to learn more, uh, whether that's because they they have a family member in need, they're interested in supporting the organization in some way, or interested in uh, truly being a member and earning the patch, what's the best way for people to learn more? Um, BacaWorld.org, and you can click on Florida. There's nine chapters in Florida. Um, Our meetings are the third Sunday every month on Collins Road at the Fleet Reserve at 1 p.m., it's open to the public. They're more than welcome to come out. Um, the best way if somebody sees us out in public, stop us and say, hey, I, I want to know more. Excellent. I'm really grateful you're here with us. It's an important message. 
Uh, it, truly, it was a message I was not familiar with, and so you guys reached out to me. I'm grateful that you did. There are bad things happening in communities, and there are some guys that look like bad actors. There are actually some bad dudes doing great stuff. Really love to uh, have you check out the website and, and see where you're comfortable to support, and if you've got the need, reach out to them so that that kid who's important to you can feel a little bit more comfortable and get through this process. Mm -hmm.